I'm now going to change the Watkins Silent Flow circulation pump. Again, it's an easy job. You may find it easier with no water in, but if there is water in there, you can find some corks to block off your pipes. Um, or if there's no water in there, then it's, it's quite easy to do without it. Um, the first thing I want to do is take the pipe off the top and off of the side. Um, remove the circlips. And then using a heat gun or a hair dryer, you can just warm the pipes up enough to help you remove them. When you're removing this pipe, it's very important that you mind this pipe on the top so it is a weak point and you can damage and break that quite easily. Okay, I'm now going to remove the bonding strip and then I'm going to unscrew the pump from the base. and that's the pump removed. When you receive your replacement pump, you will find that the cable doesn't come with it, so you have to use the existing cable. So I'll now just show you how you change the wire from one pump to the other one. First, we unscrew the back of the pump. you'll see on your pump it's probably already soldered straight into the back of the pump so we just cut those wires off we then undo the fitting and the cable just pulls out So with the new pump, remove the back. Inside there is a bag that has got the, um, the clamps for the cable. So we need to strip the wires down for them to fit into the back of the pump. So before we feed the cable through the hole in the pump, we need to put our fittings on to ensure a watertight fit. On the back of the pump, it does show you in what order you need to put these pieces on to make sure that fit is watertight. So once the connections are all in place in the right place, Feed the wire through the hole in the pump. And 
and then you will see you have your earth, your neutral and your live. You fold the tab back. Push forward. Neutral. Finally, the live. Check, just give them a light pull, make sure you got a good connection. Pull down on the tabs, make sure they're fully closed, and then screw the back of the pump on. Then push out fittings into the back of the pump and screw that back in. And that's your new pump ready to be put back inside the hot tub. Right, whilst we've got the pump out, I can show you um, how we disassemble it to check for scale. This, uh, the new the new pump here we, that we have, we can unscrew. And the wet end just comes off like so. What you can then find is you will get a build up of um, calcium and even hair or any leaves or anything that may have gone through the filters gets built up in this area you clean that off pop it back on screw it back together again okay I'm now going to reinsert the pump So I'm just going to heat the pipes again. Just keeps them soft. to reinsert the bonding strip and that's the circulation pump reinstalled